welcome to Health Wrap, your weekly roundup of the latest news in the world of health and wellness. Let's begin. Study reveals how Atlantic diet not just boosts human health but also planets. There have been several diets that nutritionists have suggested for a healthy heart. One of them is the Mediterranean diet, which has been voted the best diet for seven years by the US News and World Report. But now, researchers have brought about another diet called the Atlantic diet, quite similar to the Mediterranean diet, that is considered to be heart-friendly and shows environmental sustainability. It focuses on having home-cooked meals that are fresh and consuming minimal processed products. Nearly 1.5 million women of reproductive age are affected by epilepsy in India. About 1.5 million women in India suffer from epilepsy and experts say that women of the reproductive age with epilepsy should receive special care because pregnancy presents a unique challenge. In epilepsy, the brain's electrical rhythm becomes unbalanced and seizures persist. This can affect a person's consciousness, movements or sensations. Doctors have expressed serious concern about the underdiagnosis of epilepsy in India. This indifference is influenced by cultural beliefs, social stigma and the lack of health infrastructure. A person in Oregon has been diagnosed with a case of bubonic plague, making them the state's first confirmed case of this rare bacterial infection since 2015. The doctor said that the person was probably infected by their cat. Pets can then transfer the infection to humans via tissue or bodily fluids such as the respiratory droplets from cough or sneezes. Alternatively, they might carry home fleas that in turn bite you. An elderly man has died from Alaska pox, the first known fatality from the recently discovered virus. The virus recently discovered in Alaska, also known as AKPV, is related to smallpox, cowpox and mpox and is transmitted from small mammals and symptoms normally include a rash and muscle pain. A study conducted by the researchers from the University of Tokyo has unveiled alarming characteristics of the JN1 variant of COVID, indicating not only heightened transmissibility but also resistance to immunity. They have revealed that there should be an urgent need for research strategies to address its threats to public health since JN1's dominance has surpassed other variants in reproductive numbers. Despite having no adverse effects, nose picking was subject to criticism after a study published by Biomolecules revealed implications for Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is an anxiety disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. But this new study sheds light on how seemingly unharmful activities such as nose picking can play a role in the development of the disease. Most health experts in India know that oral rehydration salts are quite inexpensive for the treatment of diarrhea in children, yet very few prescribe it. Oral rehydration salts or ORS are a mixture of electrolytes and carbohydrates in a form of sugar dissolved in water. They are used to replace salts and water that the body loses when you have dehydration caused by diarrhea or vomiting. The findings of the new study, published in Science Journal recently, suggest that closing the knowledge gap between what treatment healthcare providers think patients want and what treatments patients want could save half a million lives a year and reduce the unnecessary use of antibiotics. Well, that's all for today's Health Bulletin. Stay informed and stay healthy.